Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, Craig Chamberlain, and on this iCast series, we're going to talk about servers. Servers are not that complicated, okay? They're just a computer that is designed to serve a specific function for other computers, okay? That's, I mean, that's the basic concept of a server. Now, before I get started, don't forget you can swing by my website at pcmtechhelp.com. I have over 80 free downloads. Just click the free downloads link in the upper left-hand corner. Also, on the right-hand sidebar, you can scroll down. I have all my social networks there. You can connect me with the internet or something. Like that. Anyways, let's say you have a computer, and you have a computer. Okay, this computer, you do all your Word documents on. You do all your work on and all that fun stuff. Now, this computer is in California. You don't do anything on this computer. So you think. So then you're on your computer typing away, doing your Word documents, and then your friend calls you and says, hey, check out this cool website. Go to www.pcmtechhelp.com. It's awesome. Wow. And then go to, <laughs> so you open up your browser and you type in www.pcmtechhelp.com. And all of a sudden, a website displays in front of your page. Okay? You just used this computer in California or wherever else, wherever my website's hosted. Okay? Now essentially this computer is the server and you are the client, okay? As the client, you sent a request to the server. In other words, you took an order, okay? And the server went out with your order, grabbed your order, brought it back and served it to you. Essentially, this is just another computer just like yours, maybe not exact hardware, probably not exact hardware, but it is designed and has software installed on it for this purpose of serving you websites. Now, this web, this server might serve you email, it might serve you uh, video, it might serve you streaming audio, it might serve you, oh geez, there's a million, FTP, which is basically file transfers, it might serve you, there's tons, there's, it might serve you a video game, it might serve you hosting for whatever games you like to play online, it might serve you your chat, I mean it could do anything, but this is a server because it's designed and has software on it specifically designed to handle those requests. So in other words, all a server is is just a standard computer, and then when you type in that URL, or you use that piece of software, or you send in a request for a video, this server takes those requests, grabs whatever material you're requesting, and gives it to you. That's all a server is. It's not that complicated. A server is just a computer that serves. That's it. Now, that being said, you can turn your computer into a server by installing software on it that allows it to be a server. For example, a lot of people on the, the client side are like, I want to build my own website. Well, to build your own website, usually you set your computer up to serve its own websites. That way you can test them. And so you'd install a piece of software called like XAMP, it's called, and it'll install all the server handling information on here. So then when you open your browser, you can type in your local computer's address and it'll serve itself. It'll be a self-serving computer. So your computer is a client and a server. That's right, it can be both. And that's it. That's all a server is. I hope that that was clear. I tried to keep it as basic and fundamental as I could. I didn't want to go into too much detail because servers are, there's, there's hundreds of different types of servers, thousands of different types of servers that, that can be used. But the basic premise is the same behind all of them. So, there you go. As always, thanks for the question, and uh, don't forget to swing by my website at pcmtechhelp.com. I do have those 80 free downloads. Just click the free download section in the upper left-hand corner, and uh, if you have any questions, ask me on any of the social networks. You can also ask them in the questions below. Like this video if you liked it, and stay tuned, and thank you for your time. I always appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos, and I will see you next time.